All right, welcome back guys. As you can see, we've made some progress. I got some paint on the wall and it's, it's a major step towards finishing this area of the basement. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. Now, what I wanna point out to you is the area, the 90 degree area, the support column where the old sheet rock met the new. Now, I believe my paint line looks fairly sharp. What I need to point out is that I had to use tape to get my lines as sharp as this. A master of this craft wouldn't even need to do that. But I'm content with what we have here and how this came out. I'm gonna spin around on the other side to show you exactly what I did and what I needed to do. Paint tape to keep my lines as sharp as possible. I've also had an opportunity to paint some of my accent pieces contrasting colors. I believe those difference in colors pop out. When I paint a room, I always try to use focal points. And these little touches, accent colors, are my little tricks of the trade. So I'm gonna show you that I've actually done that to a lot of the accent pieces. As you can see there, I painted the main load bearing beam down here. To me, it visually makes all the difference. So as you can see with the ceiling situation, I was able to tidy up a bit. If you can recall the mess that was down here previously. Now I will make a future video showing you exactly how to make sure your wires are a lot more uniformed. Now let me let you know what I did was buy a few sample pieces of 2x2 two two panels that are white and I attempted to spray paint them just in order to save some money. When you get black panels, those are special order. They're a little more expensive. So I thought I'd save some money by buying them white and spray painting them. But with this panel that you see here, spray painting it took me about 10 minutes. And as you can see, it wasn't done to perfection. If you look closely, you'll see some white sparkles, which indicates that this was in fact a paint job. I don't, I don't want that look. So I went ahead and purchased the special order panels, which was about $700 to cover the entirety of the basement area. Now, this did stretch the budget, but as it is now, I've set $2,500 for this project, and with the special order panels, I'm about $950 in so far. Not too shabby. So, we're gonna keep it going, and come back to see the progress, and I hope to see you in the next episode.